Welcome back. I am the Umbreon Messiah, and this is Let's Play the Ocar uh, Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time, if I want to get my full title right there. We are currently scaling the wall of Death Mountain, and it is also becoming nighttime again, which is strange, because it was just, you know, daytime for like all of 30 seconds. Well, I suppose since I can control the cycle of day and night, it doesn't really matter. But it's just sort of irritating, you know? I mean, it's cool and all that they had night and day in the game, but... I much prefer the daytime. It has the music. Maybe that's just me. <coughs> oh, sorry folks, I might be coming down with something. I hope not, but... Finally, here we are at the top of death... You've got to be kidding me. Oh, good. He won't talk to us. That's good. That's very good. Anyway, in here is the uh, fairy fountain. It's the reason we're up here in the first place, to get power from the fairy queen. Or the great fairy, or whatever the hell they call them these days. And, of course, the only way to talk to the fairies is to play music, because we all know Link is a bard. He can charm anyone. What the hell was that? Oh my god! What is that? And why am I so scared? No! You are not a fairy! You are the complete opposite of fairy! You are something that should not be in a game for children! WHAT ARE YOU DOING HERE?! Oh, please don't give me any- What the hell? Nintendo made this game, right? How did they get away with this? And why are her breasts so torpedo-shaped? The secret sword technique of spin attack! <coughs> Actually, this gives us two things. One, it gives us the power to charge up our, uh, Whirling Slash, but it also gives us a magic meter. Now, the problem is we don't really have any magic. Yet. We're gonna be changing that. You're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Well, I'm impersonating one, at least. Oh god, please, anything to get me away from you. Is it just me, or do they sound like they should be the villains? <laughs> Little Link should not have watched that. Anyway, no, I don't want to read you. I want to talk to the stupid owl. Yes, I know. It's crazy. I want to talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I know. Basically, he's going to take us to the bottom of the mountain. And this really trippy flying sequence. <coughs> Which surprisingly borrows the music from Navi. Oh my goodness. It's like riding a griffin and wow, he has to take the scenic route. But oddly enough, he places us on top of this house. Which is a good thing for us, because it allows me to drop down here, go inside here, and meet this cow with this piece of heart. Yay! And, since we're in desperate need of milk... Wait a minute, I'm trying to remember how a bonus song goes here. Wow, I feel dumb. There we go. I knew I'd remember it if I thought hard enough. That's how long I haven't used the song, folks. Yeah, 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 milk. Thank you. Yummy. All right, then. Well, technically our next stop is the Zora's Domain, but... <coughs> there are a few things I'm going to do first. Oh, 
Well, namely one of them is get out of this village. Actually, I think we've been... Uh, oh, no, wait. There's something I need to check on first. First, we're going to equip this shield again, because I don't really have a use for the other one. Yet. And we're going to go in here. Going in here will allow us... Where is it? One of these guys has been cured. Here we are. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. It's a bigger wallet! Excellent. I don't understand why they added that. That seemed kind of silly to me. I mean, in all of the, like... I suppose you could call them, like, the 2D Zeldas. You don't really have a need of getting a bigger wallet. Like, it caps out at 999, but... For some odd reason, they felt the need to give you a wallet size. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna cut off to a Hyrule Castle Town so I have enough time to do everything here. And we're back! Some of you may notice that I am now carrying a max of 50 shots for my slingshot. That's because, like I told you, I was gonna do the, uh, the minigame that increased that, uh, my maximum ammo to 50. Uh, somewhere off screen. And I did. And I did that because I figured I was gonna fail a lot. Naturally, I did it on my first try, so now I don't get to brag. But anyway, if we come back to the castle now that we have the bombs and the gift from the uh, Great Fairy on top of the mountain, we can come to this Great Fairy Fountain and receive something even cooler. Of course, this means I also have to sit through, you know, that again. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell? You look exactly like the other one! Okay, it's official. Link has a new stalker. A very sexy, pixelated stalker, but... Where is that polygon? I, I have no idea. Ooh, magic! Oh, d what the hell? This is so unclean! I got a crystal with a red fire and Oh, Din's fire! Ha 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 ha! So it'll make me dance? <laughs> Apparently, Link's a smoking hot dancer. Huh. Anyway, now that that's done, our next stop is the Zora's Domain! So. Well, that's where we're headed. Now, I'll cut to show you where we're going. And as morning comes along, I've found Zora's Domain. Well, at least the entrance to the river, anyway. Check the mini-map, because this is where we're going. Now, the game supposedly wants me to call Soraya on her ocarina phone or whatever. To... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh... What is it with this game and... Shoving me into situations where I have to talk to people I don't like. <laughs> yes, thank you. I would never have been able to figure that out on my own. Well, I suppose that's a good hint if you've never played the game before. Hey, look what it is, folks. Give me that token! I picked up another one off screen, but I figured you people didn't really care that much, so... This isn't a... What the hell? How did I just not explode any of those? Well, this isn't a guide to pick up a hundred gold sculptulas, so... Interesting, if you can actually touch one of those butterflies with a, uh... A Deku stick? Uh, it turns into a fairy, but I've never actually been able to do it. Oh god, it's Octorox! Anyway, for some odd reason when Link... Hey, that's a piece of heart. For some odd reason when Link holds on to chickens, he can float. I don't precisely know how this works, but... All I know is right here, it doesn't really do us that much good. Oh god, please don't try and kill me. Now over here we have something fairly amusing. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Ooh. 
Play these frogs music, they grow and they give you money. And when we get the Song of Storms, something cool happens here as well. Oh, that's a lot of rupees. Anyway, we're out of time for now, folks. So next time on Let's Play the Ocarina of Time, we get straight into Zora's Domain and try to get the last spiritual stone. Peace!